Huh. <laughs> I kind of like it. What did you think I was talking about? <laughs> I thought you were talking about dropping your pants. Just kidding. Just because I do that on a regular basis it doesn't make it right. Huh? I thought you were talking about putting this format in drop frame, and I'm like, we already do. You think about that? I'm going to the manual real quick. Drop frame. Actually kind of works out. We come I... up with some really interesting names. We got cut that cheeks. Uh, we got somebody say FML. That's a website, dude. POV, OTS. These are all things people don't know. Explain what a POV is. Point of view. Point of view is Daniel. This is the guy who's behind the camera. That's me. That is point of view. This is me on the phone. Jonathan, real quick, explain OTS to me. OTS means over the shoulder. Mm -hmm. We don't do it anymore here at this nope. station, but we used well, to, and a lot of newscasts I think still do it, where they so basically uh, superimposed a box-like yeah. graphic over no, the I, left or the right shoulder no, of the anchor no, on dollar, camera. Mm -hmm. Point of view, this is point of view. Daniel, behind the camera, is point of view. Now, me on the side, OTS, over the shoulder. So Manuel's big head, OTS. Uh, you better not show that. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta get it. Just blur it out. Jonathan, I'm not. Like the memory of Friday night. I don't want to be part of anything that's vulgar. Huh? I don't want to be part of anything that's vulgar. Uh, too late, dude. You work in television. It's gonna be vulgar no matter what we do. Daniel, what? I'll try to work it out. See, so he'll he'll put a scene where you're not in it, where it won't be vulgar, but it no, will be vulgar either. because you have to realize that that's what we deal with on a daily basis. So to say it doesn't happen. I'm saying. Anything with me in the shot, vulgar, no. Because I had this same discussion with the guy that I'm mentoring, because he was talking about, you know, I'm not going to talk about this on camera. <laughs> okay. He's I'll still trying to keep it. I'm trying to help it out, dude. Can we just stick to drop frame? Yeah. Drew wants one of my crew to edit a story that uh, Dave brought in. Uh, delicious Dave. I thought Dave was, uh, Jeff was delicious because he busters. Well, Jeff is delicious, but he's not cold. It's just there's a di big difference here. These, the <laughs> We've had this conversation. Yeah. Summer camera two. Back to you. All right, now Rose, voice Make a break. Who's Chocolate Bear? Oh, Chocolate Bear is our director, Tim. And Tim is like dark chocolate, okay? He's uh, like melts in your mouth. He's that very white. Has, his voice is like very, very whitish. And he just, mmm. You like it when you call it Chocolate Bear? I've grown to like it. It's not the way it makes me feel. It makes me feel good. <laughs> I've been Chocolate Bear since he started back like three or four years ago. And he's always chocolate, chocolate bear. Mm. Does he like chocolate bear? I, I think he does. I think he's grown on him. I mean, at first, you know, he's kind of off put <laughs> by, but you know, uh, now that he's seen Scrubs and uh, felt the delicious chocolateness, I think that's I think that's all you need. Penny. <laughs> I bought this for Joe. It came in the mail the other day. It was on back order. It finally came, right? Three other mouths have been on this. Uh, I, I'm mad. See my picture I'm posting it on Facebook. You can't tell by my face right now that I'm mad, but I am. That's why Joe won't use it. I'm afraid to touch it myself. There's probably co there's, there's three other mouths cooties on here. You see those? They're crawling around. Oh, I touched it. I touched it here. Get it off. <laughs> well, one of them is Devor. Oh. 
I like Tavor, but Joe says it would be like kissing Tavor. Cut it out. I'm just helping you out for this. No, you don't need to help me out. I can I can hear the sound in my mind now. That's how ingrained it has gotten. I don't know where the lip squeak started. About a year and a half. What was it Joe that started it? So where did that originate from again? It originated from uh, one of the photographers who used to work here, Robert Bielan. That's my boy, Robert. Mm -hmm. He's now working for CBS. He's shooting sports, but he was the <laughs> of all the. <laughs> and so whenever I call for that, I'll <laughs> and Chris will go. <laughs> it's something that goes on in the newsroom. And you know what I enjoy about most mm -hmm. about this whole thing is the fact that when I walk in in the morning, I give the high sign, I go, <laughs> and my boys will respond with. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It happens everywhere because all the guys are on board except for a couple of nobbies. It's the most annoying sound ever. Most of us are on board, but there are some that just kind of take a back seat to whatever's going on, don't want to be a part of what's happening. Mm, Even okay. though that's what's... What's that? All right, so Iman and Daniel and some other guys yeah. with L's on the forehead just decide they don't want to play. Right. But there, there are some who decide they want to play. I, I love this week. Squeak is everything. Well, I gotta be well, careful. Some might think it's kind of lame. It's not lame, bro. <laughs> I sent this email to our news director in his office for some reason, uh, trying to get the lip squeak banned in November. It's not lame, bro, because here's the thing. I even got women doing it here. There's some yeah. women who enjoy it too that'll walk around. <laughs> doesn't know how to manage the lip screen. It's right there in black and white. In random. It's not even provoked by anything. It's completely random. Joe says it's like a hello. It's a sound. It's it's like nails on a chalkboard or the sound of, of air being let out of a balloon really, really fast. I don't know what enjoyment they get out of this lip screen. So no, it's just it's it's kind of our high side and it's just something we do as kind of a brotherhood. Kind of like your norm. Kind of, sure. kind of like yeah, it's yeah. like like I walk in and instead of everybody going, Norm, I walk in, everybody goes, so. And, and this isn't just one page. This is three pages of emails trying to get this lip squeak ban from our air in our newsroom. I guarantee you, however much you have to hear it on air, we have to hear it at least three or four times more throughout the course of the day. We all went to college, people. This is not how we should be acting. Okay, this is exactly us, how we act in college. Some of us went to college. I went to college. This is how exactly how I acted in college. Yeah. That's how we all acted in college. It's fun times. We don't have time. If it's dude, if it's at the top, we're in the D. We're about to go in the D. The sun's coming up. Anthony. No, uh, bro, you're about to go up. You do know that, right? Producer. I got you, I got you, I got you. Trying to feed his footage. Where's he at in the rundown? He's at the top. Top of the D, and we're in the D. We're in the D right now. Are you Feed for last block, please. So, do you think time travel is possible for edits? No! with you guys. So if you put out this web episode and you and you Chiron people and you Chiron Ron Lopez as a Simon editor. You know, we did mess up on your name. Simon manager, editor, whatever. Assignment manager. I didn't go seven you manage to evil manager school to be called an assignment editor. It's not that big a deal. He actually talked to me about it. And he, hmm. why'd you guys mess up my name? Y'all need to get that right. You two didn't want to be on the same level as Ben, is that right? I'm above Ben. He, he can be German. Do the same job, basically, but you manage it instead of just edit it. So make sure you get your facts straight. Apparently guys in the back don't get their facts straight. Well, I'm not a producer. Like, even a producer, if you're putting it together and your name's on it, you should make sure you got the titles of people correct. So what's your excuse for the show? <laughs> so we change it in this opening credits and hopefully that's enough to appease Ron. I'm just shooting and giving ideas. That's that's my job. I make sure that they have stories available for them to choose from. For example, if a house blows up, I get a crew there. Okay. I don't tell them how to do the story. I get the crew there. If 
thought I could have been in it a little bit more. Why? Because I'm the star. <laughs> I mean, the star, the protagonist, if you've you ever, ever taken a script writing class, the protagonist is in every scene. I wasn't in every scene. I was viewing you as more of the antagonist. I need more, more camera time. Me and the camera, we love each other. Oh, okay? you do? Yeah. Ben works for me. He's one of my underlings. He's my minion. <laughs> Emmanuel, we're me and the camera we're having a